40 or so, a seven to eight year deal could be in his future. We talked about it early. I remember already in August, I talked to a few guys and, you know, uh, try to explain that, you know, our, our careers are really short and, and uh, um, to lose a year out, out of our careers, I mean, it's, it's, that's tough. You don't get it back. But you did miss it. Absolutely. You know, I, uh, I've been playing hockey since I was seven, eight years old. And it's been a big part of my life and, and uh, it excites me and, and, and motivates me. Uh, not only on the ice, but off the ice as well. Uh, but this year was a little different too. We had our first baby, so I obviously I spent a lot of time with our daughter. Uh, but I can still feel something was missing. I guess the real question with the lockout is, was it worth it? It doesn't really matter. We just need to look forward now. And, and uh, what I can say is I'm really disappointed it took this long. What is it about hockey that they seem to always shoot themselves in the foot? You, you get from the last lockout to now, you went from two two billion to three point three billion revenue, and they stop, and they just honestly kill any momentum they had. West Coast champ, good storylines. Rangers were great. I, I don't have a good answer for you. You know, uh, that's why I was really surprised uh, the way it played out this time, because we really built something up here, and that's what bothers me a little bit too that we couldn't get back to him a little faster and come back to play. Yeah, you got to make less this year than you were supposed to six months ago? Salary stayed the same. Uh, obviously, we lost about 40% of it. For this season? For this season. Right. All those people that rushed to sign deals before the lockout, their contracts will be honored to the dollar. Yes, it will, but we have something called escrow. So the league holds an escrow depending on how well the league is doing. And the last couple of years... You know, they've been holding back uh, between 15 to 18 percent each year, and then we get it back the next year when they know how well the league. They hold back your salary, so you exactly. get 15 to 18 percent less. And we don't have a cap, so next year that could go be even higher. Uh, we don't know. If the league does well, that money comes back to the player. If the league suffers, the paycheck suffers with it. As for the fans, the reigning Vezina Trophy winner as the league's top goalie. Lundqvist thinks the game itself will win people back. I still believe hockey is the best life sport. That has to be our mission, to get people to come watch us. And uh, But I understand that people are upset about this, for sure. Fan anger wasn't necessarily pointed toward players. It was directed at Commissioner Gary Bettman and NHLPA Executive Director John Fear, who earned a reputation of winning at all costs when in the same job for Major League Baseball. Lundqvist says that's not the case. Very patient, uh, smart. Um, I have to say, I'm, I was impressed how he just gave all the players confidence in all this. Like I said, it's not easy to get 700 guys to be on the same page. For the owner, owners there, they're, they're 30 guys. We're over 700. And every time we had a meeting, and he always asked us, you know, I'm, I'm working for you. What do you want me to do? So it was never his show, you know. Thankfully, the show is now on the ice where Lungfist said it will be a 48-game sprint to the playoffs. For the time being, you probably won't have much time for other things. But a little bit later on the show, we'll delve into those a little more, including his style, his marketing, and his philanthropy, which includes a record-setting fundraising effort for Hurricane Sandy relief. Of course, hockey may be back and just...